after our session, this meeting, we will be having probability. Now, let's define probability first. So take note, probability is a mathematical tool used to study randomness. It deals with the chance, the likelihood of an event to occur. Like for example, this is a question for everyone. Um, will it rain today? So, if I'm going to be asking you, what is the probability of raining today? So, you can say, sir, um, it would be 50-50 uh, ang uwan, or pwedeng less ang chance mo uwan, sir, or pwedeng more or greater chance that it will rain. Or you can say, sir, it will really, really rain today. Or you can say, sir, it will not rain today. So take note, when I say probability, probability is a value between 0 and 1. Or it's a value from 0 to 1. When you say inclusive, included ang 0 and 1. Okay? So it's from 0 to 1. And then, when an event is impossible... The probability is zero. So take note of that. The probability is zero, meaning the event is impossible to happen. When an event is certain, sure dud siyang mahitabo, then the probability is one. It's 100% of happening. Now, if it is 50-50 chance that it will happen, then it will be equally likely to happen. Okay? Now, what if the chance is simply f between 0 and 1 half? This is what you call less likely to happen. If the chance is more than 50 but less than 1, 100%, this is more likely to happen. <coughs> so take note of this lang. The concept of probability it's a value from 0 to 1. When I say 0 probability, it's impossible. 1 probability, a probability of 1, it's certain. Equally likely, it means 1 half 50-50 chance of happening. When I say less likely, it's between 0 and 1 half. If it's more likely, it's between one half and one. So those are just concepts about probability. Okay? Now let's continue. This will be our formula when calculating probability. The probability of an event is simply equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. Now, you will, we will dig deeper on this formula as we go on with the, with the examples for this session. So again, the formula is the probability of an event that is equal to the number of favorable outcomes, that's your numerator, the denominator here is the total number of possible outcomes. Let's have our first example. Let's begin with flipping a coin or tossing a coin. We ha these are the outcomes, right? We have head and tail. Now, this is the question. What is, what is the probability of getting a head? So before answering that, we need to go back to the flipping of a coin. When you flip a coin... What is the number of possible outcomes when flipping a coin? How many outcomes do we have? We have two. Okay. The two here, 
this is your denominator because it's the total number of outcomes. So take note, the total number of outcomes is the denominator. Okay? Now, number of outcomes to get a head. Look at the one. Look at the look at the outcomes. Head and tail. How many heads do you have there? Only one. Therefore, you only have one outcome to get ahead. And this is the favorable outcome. Because when you say favorable outcome, it's the outcome that you want to get. So this is the number of favorable outcome. Now, if I want to go back to my formula, what is your numerator here? W number of outcomes to get ahead. One, correct. What about the number of possible outcomes? That's your denominator. So what is your answer here, section Ruby? Oh, very good. So the probability of getting ahead is one half. And this is an equally likely to happen event. Okay? Let's continue. Are there any questions with our first example? Okay, let's continue. What about tossing two coins? So take note, these are the possible outcomes. This is now the question. What is the probability of getting only one head? Now, let's determine first the denominator. Mojun atong first and aun ang denominator. Number of possible outcomes. There are four. So these are the possible outcomes. One, two, three, four. Let's go to our favorable outcomes. The number of outcomes to get only one head. What are those outcomes that contains only one head? Uh, let's determine. Asa aning upat, which among the four, contains only one head? Is this only one head? Is, is HH only one head? No. So cannot be. What about HT? Yes, let's encircle that. What about TH? Yes. What about tail and tail? No. Okay. So how many favorable outcomes do we have? Two. So there are two outcomes that contains only one head. That would be head tail and tail head. So what will be your probability now? That will give you... What's your numerator here? Two. What's the denominator? Four. It will give you two over four. Reduce two over four. Okay. One half. That's still equally likely to happen. Okay? Up. Questions about our second example. Ang what? Where where are you saying duak? Asa mong where are the upat ka H din hakman? Kini siya kini. This is head tail head tail by the way. That's head tail. Naman diri atong outcomes mo ni atong tanawon. Do not look at the tree diagram. You go to the outcomes, the four outcomes that we have. Okay? Okay. Now, let's go to tossing three coins. Okay? So, take note. These are the outcomes. You already know how to make a tree, tree diagram when you toss three coins. Now, this is our question. 
what is the probability of getting at least one or two tails, I mean? So take note, I want to get at least two tails. Now let's define first. Let's analyze. What do you mean by the word at least two tails? So meaning it means two or two or more. More two or more. Included man si two anak. It should be two or more, because when I say more than two, two is it included there. So it should be two or more. So take note, Aniha. Two or more is not the same as more than two. Because when you say more than two, two is it included. It should be two or more. Okay? So let's be technical about using terms like this, because it will give you a different meaning. Now, this is now my question. When I say two or more tails... So it means two tails or three tails. You get my point, Section Ruby? Okay, let us now determine, let's check. What are those outcomes that contains at least two tails? H, T, correct. What else? Tails, head, tails. T T H and tail tail tail. Now let's go to our denominator. The denominator. What's the denominator here? What is the total number of possible outcomes? No no no. I'm talking about the denom eight. Okay, that's eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are eight possible outcomes. What about the number of outcomes to get at least two tails? Okay, the encircled outcomes there, that's the favorable outcome. There are one, two, three, four. That will be our numerator. So take note, these are our favorable outcomes. H, T, 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 H, T, 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 H, and T, T, T. Now, what is the probability here? 4 over 8, and it will give you how much when you do say this? It's simply one, 1 half. 2 over 4, you can still reduce 2 over 4. So take note, the fraction should be in its simplest form. Are there any questions regarding this problem? Okay, very good. This is clear. Now let's proceed. It's still tossing 3 coins, but this time, the question is this. What is the probability of getting exactly one head? Oh, let's determine the denominator first, okay? The denominator is how much? It's 8 because there are 8 possible outcomes. Now, this is now my question. How many possible outcomes are there to get exactly one head? So, let's determine first what are those outcomes that contains only one head. Head, tail, tail. What else? Tail, head, tail. What else? Tail, tail, head. Are there any other outcomes? Ng atong na miss o in circle? Wala na. So how many are there? The okay. There are three favorable outcomes. Okay. Now what? Are those outcomes? It's H T T T H T and T T H. Now, what is the probability then of getting exactly one head? Three over eight. Can you reduce three over eight? Oh, that's already final. Three over eight is already final. Okay, let's continue. It's still toss. Yes. Any question? Um, if you analyze this, di ba, ang, ang 3 over 8, ang sunod ana is 4 over 8. Ang 4 over 8 is 1 half, right? So meaning, 3 over 8 is less than 1 half. Meaning, this is less likely to happen. Because this fraction here 
is less than one half. So it's a matter of analyzing the fraction if it's less than or more than one half. Okay? Kasabotra, anong na less likely siya? Okay, let's continue. Let's have this problem here. The same, tossing three coins, but this time, I want to get exactly two heads. So the denominator, it's still eight, but we will go and look for the outcomes na exactly two heads. What are those outcomes? H, H, head, head, tail, okay? Head, tails, head. What else? Tails, head, head. Napatay na miss out? Maora. There are how many outcomes? Three. And what is the probability here? It's still three over eight. And if you'll analyze three over eight, it's less than one half. That's less likely to happen. Okay? Now let's continue. Still tossing three coins, but this time the question is getting at most one tail. So when you say at most one tail, what do you mean by that? At most one tail. If So not more than, it means one or less. Right? So, pwede siyang one tail, pwede siyang no tail at all. That's what you mean by at most. So, if I'm gonna say at most two heads, pwede two heads, pwede one head, pwede said no head at all. Do you get my point about at most? So, take note, when you say at most, it's at most one, that's one or less. Pwede siya walay tail for this problem. So, what are those outcomes that contains at most one tail? Heads, tails, tails. Is that head? Head? Yes, yes, go. Heads, head, tails. What else? Heads, heads, heads. Okay, what else? Heads, tails, heads. What else? Tails, heads, heads. Kabantay mo, you have noticed? Sir, no tail included. Heads, heads, heads. No tail na siya. One tail, sir. One tail, one tail, one tail. So, going back to our denominator, it's still eight, the number of possible outcomes. The favorable outcomes, that is... At most one tail, how many? That's four. So take note, that's our favorable outcomes. And the probability is four over eight. Reducing that, how much do you get? That's one half. Okay? And this is equally likely to happen. Okay? Let's proceed to our next question. What if the question is this? What well, is the probability of getting at least three tails? So the denominator is still eight, but the question is, how many possible outcomes are there to get at least three tails? One. What is that one outcome? Tails, tails, tails. Because it says exactly three. When you say at least three, not exactly, but at least, it means three or more. Yeah, wala naman tay more than three tails dira. We only have three tails in our outcomes. Therefore, we only have one possible outcome. And what is the probability here? One over eight is the probability of getting at least three tails. Okay? Now, let's have another question. What if I'm going to be asking you at most three tails. So the denominator is still eight, but what is the number of favorable outcomes that is getting at most three heads? I mean, at most three tails. This is at most, at most three tails. Okay, this is at most three tails. 
What are those outcomes? Heads, heads, heads. What else? What else? What else? So meaning, silang tanan. So how many are there? It's eight. So what's the probability here? Okay, there you go. The probability is one. It is certain to happen. Is this example clear? Katung 1 over 8, less likely man ng 1 over 8. Kanang 1 over 8, 1 over 8, 2 over 8, 3 over 8. These are less likely. Kay ang 4 over 8, 1 half mani, di ba? Nya ang more than 4 over 8, 5 over 8, 6 over 8, 7 over 8, maoni more likely. So it's a matter of listing the fractions and determining asa ang 1 half ana para you'll know, ah, this is more likely to happen. Kining 6 over 8, you can reduce that as 3 over 4. 3 fourths. Okay? So that's how you analyze, sir, if it's more likely, less likely, or equally likely. Is this clear? Okay, let's continue. Let's have, an let's have another problem. This time, exactly four tails. So take note, we have four pos eight possible outcomes. How many outcomes are there to get exactly four tails? None. You don't have four tails there in your outcome. So what's your answer here? It's zero. So what's the probability? The pro, okay, it's impossible because the probability is zero. Very good. Okay? So I am showing you a pretty zero answer, pretty one ang answer, or any fraction that is less than one. Now let's, are there any questions about tossing three coins? None. Very good. Now let's proceed to rolling dice. Okay? Let's proceed to rolling dice now. Let's focus on one dice. So take note, these are the outcomes. Okay? This is now the first question about rolling a die. What is the probability of getting a, a number four? So before that, let's determine the denominator first. What is the sample space here, section Ruby? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's correct. Now, how many total number of possible outcomes do we have? There are six possible outcomes. Now, how many outcomes to get a number four? How many number fours? No, no. How many number fours do you have from one to six? You only have one number four there. So we only have one outcome to get a number four. So what is the probability of getting a number four? One over six. So the one here is the number four. We only have number one there. One, four. Okay? And the number six here represents the total number of outcomes. So that's why it's one over six. Is our first problem clear? Okay, let's still have rolling one dice. But this time, what is the probability of getting an odd number? How many possible outcomes do we have? How many possible outcomes do we have? It's still six, okay? Now, this is the question. What's the number of outcomes to get an odd number? What are odd numbers? Three, correct. Oh, one, three, and five. Correct. One, three, and five. Those are odd numbers. And what's the probability now? Three over six. Reduce three over six. That is one half. Okay? Let's have more problems on rolling one dice. What is the probability of getting a number less than 3? So it's still the number of possible outcomes. That is still 6. What about the number of outcomes to get a number less than 3? 2, correct. What are those outcomes? 
1 and 2. Do not include 3 there. Not unless a number less than or equal to 3, then 1, 2, and 3 na siya. But since the word equal to is not found there, so what are numbers less than 3? It's 1 and 2 only. So what's your probability now of getting a number less than 3? Very good. That's 2 over 6. And reducing that, you will get one third. Okay? Let's continue. Ang, ang one third, uh, if you analyze this, yes, Yosaman, what's your question? Yes. I reduce. Yes, dapat siyang i reduce. Um, Section Ruby, um, di ba I, I told you you can download, uh, ha, let me present something first. Uh, the yes, the FX, uh, the calculator, I told you na you download it, okay? It's very important, okay? It will really give you the reduced form right away. For example, what was the fraction there? That was 2 over 6, right? Uh, you, in, uh, you you click this function here, getting fraction 2, then bring down the cursor, press 6, press equal. It will give you one third right away. Using the scientific calculator, it will right away give you this reduced form. Um, asa laptop na ko? You can use your phone. You can use your phone. Anyway, the phone katong akong gisend nga kuan sa inyo hang at sa atong GC. Remember our GC? I'll, I'll later, I'm going to give you the details on this. Okay? Uh, I'm going to give you the details after the discussion. Okay? So take note. If you will be determining whether this is less likely, equally likely, or more likely, let's write down all the fractions and ang three ang denominator. We have one third. We have two thirds. Nyang one half ana between na dere. Na dere ang one half tunga tunga. So meaning one third is less likely. Two thirds is more likely. You get my point here, section Ruby. So one. Ang one half ana is between. Example no awaha. If I'm gonna have two over six, diba one over six, two over six, three over six, four over six, five over six. So we have kinisiya, this is one third. Kining three over six, that's one half. Kining Four over two, that's two thirds. You get it now? Nga ang one half is naasa tunga tunga ni one third o ni two thirds. You get the idea? Okay. So that's why I said one third is less likely to happen. Okay? Is this clear now? Okay, let's continue. Let's have another problem. Rolling one dice gihapon. But this time, what is the probability of getting a number that is prime? So, this is my question. But the outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The prime numbers are, I'm gonna encircle them. Then you tell me, ngano na prime ka na 2, 3, and 5. Those are our prime numbers. What is a prime number then? Okay. It's a number whose factors is only w one. The number itself and one. Three is three times one. Five is five times one. Those are prime numbers. What's the opposite of a prime number? Okay, you call it composite numbers. And when I say composite numbers, it has more than one factor. Like for example, 4 is 4 times 1. At the same time, it is 2 times 2. 
the same as 6. 6 is 6 times 1. At the same time, it is 3 times 2. Aside from the number itself and 1, it has other factors as well. Maone gitawag natog composite numbers. This is composite. This is also composite. So take note, number 1 is not prime. It's not a prime number nor a composite number. The prime number starts at the number 2. So going back to our number of possible outcomes, that is still 6. How many outcomes are there to get a prime number? There are three possible out. And then what's your probability now? Three over six, that's equal to one half. That's equally likely to happen. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, let's have this time. Let's move higher sa atong one die. Let's have rolling two dice. So we will be using the sample space diagram now. Okay? This is a very important tool in determining probability. The sample space diagram and the tree diagramming nato ganiha. Now, this is the first question about rolling two dice. What is the probability of getting a sum of seven? So this is our first question. What are the number or what is the number of possible outcomes here? Thirty-six. There are thirty-six possible outcomes, right? There are thirty-six possible outcomes. Now, what about the number of possible outcomes to get a sum of seven? Okay, give me numbers there when added it's seven. One six. What else? Two five. Four and three. Three and four. Five and two. Six and one. Are there any other numbers there when added it's seven? Maura, how many outcomes are there? Six. So take note, these are the outcomes ha, when added it's seven. So what's the probability of getting a sum of seven? Six over 36, and that is equal to how much when reduced? One over six. Divide both numbers by 6. Okay. Greatest common factor niya, 6 man. Are there any questions about rolling two dice? Example 1. Okay. Let's proceed to example number 2. What if I'm gonna be asking you, what is the probability of getting a sum greater than 7? So, let's determine the denominator. The denominator is still 36. So, this is now our problem, the number of possible outcomes to get a sum greater than 7. Okay, let me go back to our previous slide. This one. Pili gay sum aniniya section ruby, kene? 7. Look at this ruby. You add all these numbers, how much do you get? 8. What about these numbers here? Nine. Diba there's a pattern diagonally. How what's the sum? What's ten? Eleven. This one over here. Six. This one. Five. Four. Three. And two. So we have a pattern diagonally. Okay? So, going back to our problem, what are those outcomes that when you add them, it's the sum is greater? Asa man ang mga outcomes na kuha nabi? You tell me? Okay, so meaning very good. This one over here? Correct. So, how many outcomes are there? Kanang mga encircled outcomes. Very good. There are 15 outcomes there. Okay? Because when you add those numbers there, it's the, great, the sum is greater than 7. These are the outcomes, by the way. What's the probability now? 15 over 36. And when you reduce that, we divide both 
divide this by 3, divide this by 3. So you will be getting 5 over 12. If you will analyze this, what's say sunod sa 5 over 12? 6 over 12. And reducing 6 over 12, that's one half. So 5 over 12, is this less likely or more likely? Less likely kay mas gamay mana sa one half. Okay? So it's it's good that you know, already know how to analyze whether it's less likely or more likely. Next. What if I'm going to be asking you a sum that is less than 6? So take note the number of outcomes is still 36. What are those outcomes getting a sum less than 6? Those are the outcomes that when added, the sum is less than 6. How many outcomes do we have there? There are 10 outcomes. And these are the outcomes. Take note, when you add them, it's less than 6. So, what's the probability then? 10 over 36. And reducing this is how much? 5 over 18. Divide both numbers by 2. Okay? Now, ang 5 over 18, unsay denominator, unsay numerator na ko para mahimong one half ang 18 nga denominator. 9 over 18 to make this one half. Now, if you'll analyze 5 over 18, is this less than one half or more than one half? Less than. Oh, it's less likely to happen. Okay? Let's have our next question. What if I'm going to be getting two numbers that are even? It's still 36, the total number of outcomes. Okay, let's begin. First, uh, what are the numbers here that both are even? 2, 4, 2, 6. Okay, 2, 6, 2, 4, 2, 2. What else? 4, 6. 4, 4. 4, 2. Good. What else? 6, 6, 6, 4, 6, 2. How many outcomes are there? There are 9. So take note, those are the outcomes that contain exactly two even numbers. Both are even. So how, what's your probability now of getting two even numbers? 9 over 36, reducing that, 1 fourth. Is this less likely to happen or more likely to happen? Less likely to happen. Okay? Let's continue. Another question. What if I'm going to be asking you exactly one odd number? The number of possibilities is still 36. What are those outcomes that contains exactly one odd number? Let's focus on the first column. What are numbers here that contains exactly one odd number? Silang tanan, exactly one odd? One and two. One, four. One, six. I cannot have one, five because one, five, two odd numbers man na. I said man, exactly one odd number. What about the second column? Two, one. Two, three. Two, five. Third column. Three, two. Three, four. Three, six. Fourth column. Four, one. Four, three. 4, 5. Fifth column. 5, 2. 5, 4. 5, 6. Sixth column. 6, 1. 6, 3. 6, 5. And how many outcomes are there? 18. So what's... This is our 18 over 36, right? Reducing that, how much do you get? One half. So the probability is one half. This is equally likely to happen. 
Okay? Now, let's have our last problem about for today. Rolling two dice still, but this time getting the same numbers. It's still 36, the number of possible outcomes. What are those numbers that contains the same numbers? 6, 6, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. How many outcomes are there? 6. Okay. So take note, those are your outcomes that contains the same numbers. What's the probability then of getting the same numbers? 6 over 36, that's 1. Is this less likely or more likely? Less likely to happen.